every free <laughs> moment wouldn't be. Hi, folks. I'm Michael Neal. I work at a school in Tennessee called Vanderbilt University, and it's basically my job to learn with and from really interesting people. For the past few months, I've been working on a new project where I get to talk to some of the most thoughtful, ambitious, and impactful leaders who've come through Vanderbilt's leading and learning and organizations doctoral program. My name is Alex Yu, and I am the Customer Success Programs Director at a company called Lattice. Hi, my name is Dr. Lakita Little McKinney, and I currently serve as the Senior Director at Leading Elephants, which is a consulting firm whose mission is basically to transform the way leaders at social impact organizations work. All these leaders graduated from a doctoral program with a process that included partnering with an organization, conducting an empirical investigation into some problem of practice in that organization, and offering recommendations that could make a positive impact. We call this process a capstone. And if it sounds straightforward, this kind of research practice partnership work is anything but. I think we had kind of started to understand the variables. We had started to wrongly assume what the problem was. And I think we got into our own heads around, oh, this is around senior management relationships. That's what we need to explore. And it was bigger than that. Um, we were probably scared of it being bigger than that. If you're looking for a metaphor for this kind of work, best not to look to researchers who describe their work as contributing to a canon or developing a line of research. And leadership metaphors like captaining a ship or even designing a ship come up short too. To envision a metaphor that might be more apt for these capstones, you might go to the world of home renovations, one of my little side hobbies. That is, when you renovate old homes, you don't get to pour your own foundation. You're always having to work around what already exists and none of those prefabricated materials seem to work. Capstone projects, and frankly all improvement in organizations, begin not with the foundation you pour yourself or beams and boards you laid, but with all kinds of pieces and parts you inherit, a host of surprises, and people who rarely behave in the ways that you planned. That reality, that improving organizations is always responding to a world that is only partly of your own creation, that's the starting point for all the stories in this new show. It's called Pivot Point, and it's about how some of the most interesting capstone projects were constructed and carried out, and the particular pivot points that made a project but could have broken it. We'll hear from leaders who are corporate executives, army officers, educators, and consultants, from an organization that supports first-generation college students to a college that is trying to retain faculty of color. We'll hear the ups and the downs and the drama. That's when I started crying, to be clear. Well, when we got all of that in, that was my first mental breakdown in the process. Stories about dead ends and difficulties. I will openly admit I struggled through it. Stories about navigating power. Many of these individuals felt that anyone who was an outsider in the community wouldn't be welcomed, wouldn't be trusted. Stories about hustling and perseverance. You are working on something and just, just every free moment you have. And the one thing you're going to hear more than anything else are the pivot points. The choices that made all the difference in what ended up being a great capstone project and made a positive impact in the organization. I think that that was the right decision because it really liberated me to allow the research to take me where it was going to take me. So if you've ever investigated a problem, maybe a problem in your own organization, maybe a problem in a different organization, maybe something you didn't even frame as a problem, but you found yourself asking, what's a way forward here? How do we get unstuck? What else do I need to know? Then check out the show Pivot Point. You can subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts.